What we're going to talk about in our lunch lesson is PR versus journalism. And I think the first thing to say is that it's not versus, it's and. It's PR and journalism. And the reason I say that is, firstly, that the PR concept is pretty much dead within organisations. For corporate affairs directors and communications directors, the notion of PR is more or less anathema. It's, it's a broken term. It's a term that's become a shorthand for, effectively, on the one side, uh, political manipulation, and on the other side, marketing deceit. So one of the trends in organisations is you see the term PR being stripped out of organisation charts. It's no longer used. I think the other thing to say is that, there's, that there isn't an antipathy between corporate affairs or corporate communications and journalism. Actually, there's a greater alignment now than ever before. And that alignment is for quite profound and for, for really very positive reasons. The, the first thing is that companies thrive when societies are stable and prosperous. And in order for societies to be stable and prosperous for the long term, they need freedom of expression. They need freedom of the media. If you follow that through, there is therefore a very logical continuum that says that a corporate affairs director in an organisation has, as it were, a commercial interest in ensuring that journalism is thriving, that professional journalists are able to hold society, inform society and hold organisations and power to account, because in the long term, that's what societies need to prosper. The effect of all of that is that when um, former journalists go into organisations, and I'm a former journalist now, corporate affairs director, go into an organisation, our job is not about who we know, it's how we think. Our job is to be upstream of all of the decision-making processes, hold the company to account internally, make sure it does the right thing, not the stupid thing, very, very early on. And that's on the one side. On the other side, our job is to ensure that the professional journalists who follow what we do are able to thrive. That has an ethical dimension. So it means, for example, that at Vodafone, it is potentially a sackable offence to use advertising budget, the money we spend on buying advertisements in newspapers, as leverage to try to influence editorial opinion. It's completely anathema to us. That corrupts journalism. We view journalists in the same way that we view governments, that if you corrupt a government, you destabilise the society and you harm your commercial interests. If you corrupt journalism, it's the same as corrupting a, a government. You undermine society and therefore you undermine your commercial interests in the long run. So the fact is it's not PR versus journalism, it's PR and journalism or corporate affairs and journalism because ultimately we're working towards the same aim.